Hello guys, Jimmy here, and uh, yeah, I know, it's been a while, and I want to apologize for that, I've just been so busy with college, but um, yeah, I just finished, well, about to wrap up um, midterms, so, it's not that bad, so, um, something I, like, a video I've been planning, is the um, review on the Honda S2000 Race Edition, because I've had it for a while, and a lot of people has been, ask, has been asking me, oh, it's a nice car, you're you going to trade it up? The best I could do is just give them a review because I don't, I'm not trading up my Hondas, man. Anyways, so, right, you see in front of you is the Honda S2000 Race Edition Year of the Rooster. Um, this one, I, it should be the same, this one's stock. I have Honda S2000 Race Edition, I'm just showing you this version. Um, which I recently got, and it's not going to be my account for long, this account for long. Um. But yeah, it looks really nice. I got this for, I believe, the stock rims for those. Got them for, the rims kind of remind me of like the, um, the Chinese decoration sort of thing. But, um, gotta have the glow rims. Looks sort of fit. But, um, during the beginning of, the end of January, I bought this a long time ago for 700 gems came for a week surprise not a lot of people bought it it's a really fa well really fast car lobby tune and I'll show you or tell you about the history in a bit but yeah here's the um, year the rooster edition yeah I got it for 700 gems it should be the same as the the Honda S2000 the regular Honda S2000 so let's go to that real quick if it will slide there we go scrolling one second ah it's so laggy Oh, here it is. So here's mine tuned Honda S2000 Race Edition. Um, I'll show you upgrades and just tell you about what's been going on. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff has been going down. I come back and I hear that my my leader has scammed a friend, a good friend of mine. Oh shoot, I forgot the camshaft. But, um, a good friend of mine for his F40. And I was not happy about that. Especially when he has blocked me. And blocked me in any way possible. And I haven't even seen him on this game at all. Well, not in this game. He hasn't blocked me in this game. But I don't see him online in this game at all. And, um... Yeah, he's blocked me on kick, uh, what else? I tried asking, um, a friend of mine, Seek, to talk to him. He doesn't tell me, he doesn't tell me shit about anything. Well, not, not Seek, but D.E., where my leader, Desert Eagle, doesn't tell Seek anything that would give information to me. Because, you know, because D.E. knows Seek is close, and close friends with me, so... Um, yeah, so that's basically it, uh, what else, that's basically it I guess, oh, another thing I've been noticing, um, when I come, coming back to this game, I've seen a lot of people, like, a lot of dead accounts, and not a lot of people online, which kind of disappoints me, but then also again, I also see like new players, so I mean, that's not as disappointing, but, um, oh, yeah, so history about this car, this car, used to be one of the fastest turf car or the fastest turf car for um 16 uh, for in uh, 1656 1663 and 1668 lobbies but in the 63 lobby the Pandora 1 was the fastest with the S2K being second and then 68 lobby it was behind the two RWBs, I forgot which one it was, I think it was Pandora 1 and, I don't believe it was Stella, I forgot what, which one it was, but yeah, right when, but then after the Cadillac CTSV came in, this car got bumped down a little bit, and then the BMW, uh, in the 63 and 68, and then the BMW M2 bumped, bumped the SDK down the, in the 56 lobby, so, um, 
yeah, that's basically it. Uh, let's go test drive it and tell you in the ship. Should you drive it? So shifts should be all late at. I forgot what we're doing. Start my test. Fuck. Okay. I, this is the first time I'm driving this car in a while, so I'm just trying to remember back again. Because I, when I drove this, I had it mastered down a long time ago. But um. From the looks of it, if I can remember correctly again, launch should be a l released a little bit after second light. And I need to remember where to. Launch. launch is at 4K. I keep fouling. Launch has 4K, all shifts should be late at 80, 84K. I mean, I, I mean, 8,000, 8, 8,400. I've literally lost my touch in this game. It's really depressing and sad, but... Let me lower the volume real quick. There we go. I keep fouling, fuck, man. I can't get a good view if you get... Again, what the f- This is- okay, I, I, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> This time's the charm? <laughs> there we go. So anyways, all shifts should be late. I shifted my first kind of early just because I was try I'm not really trying to, um, grab bang it. Um, the fastest I've hit this with out boost is 8.7s. It used to be 8.7. Uh, well, the world record for this before it got um, detuned or the t um, the ratings got fixed was that this car hit 8.1s, 8. Point ones. 8 point, like mid ones to low 8.1s. But then the Cadillac hit eight flats, and the Pandora hit like mid uh, mid eights. Mid eight flats. So yeah. Um, I really like driving this car. It's really fun. actually really fun car to drive. Me and the Fally. I oh. okay. So this car is fun to drive. Before I can't drive it. <laughs> Oh my god, this is disappointing. Like I, I drive. I, I like had this down. I can't drive anymore. So, anyways, um, <laughs> this car is. Uh, find the drive. It's pretty fast, non-boosted. Um, I'm about to after one more run or so. I'm about to do a couple of boosted runs just so you guys can see how fast this thing can run. Um, yeah. I forgot how ran, how what time it ran boosted though, with my tune. Now. So yeah, my best run so far was a 7.09, was it? Yeah, 7.09 with a 1.12, uh, uh, let's turn to boost. Oh, game glitch, great.
Alright, one second. Alright, and we are back. And I joined in a random lobby just so I could, um, test tune, or run boosted with other people. Um, so yeah, basically, BMW, somebody. So basically, uh, this car, value wise, well, the only, the, there are only two ways you get this car is from either turf back then or you got the you had the rooster edition in the beginning of January I don't I don't understand what's with these people like jump lobby jumping <laughs> Not like you're gonna get anything accomplished. 76. This is the max lobby. 8.313 is what I hit that run. It's not bad actually. Got bumped up by 0.2 seconds, I guess. Like 2 seconds from. Um. What else was I gonna say? Uh. It's an Evo. So yeah, the other way you can get is the Rooster Edition. Um, Rooster Edition is very high in value right now. Not a lot of people have that. I'm surprised, as I said before, which is surprising, because in S2000, it's one of the fastest turf, uh, one of the fastest um, cars for turf tuning. At an, uh, and it's pretty cool too. When you got a wide body, well, technically it is a wide body, but more like an R spec body. Which I really love. Um, how I got this one, I got it from a friend a long time ago before he quit racing rivals, and I feel really sad because he did. He quit racing rivals because he's one of my like best of like should say like really good friends in this game, especially for trading um, turf cars. Because I got a couple turf cars from him. Mm. But got a couple turf cars from him and. Yeah, we hooked each other up many times. I got back at a scammer that scammed him, and yeah, probably just like two runs boost, two or three more runs boost. If people will still run, geez, are they really that scared of the S two thousand? I mean, here's something funny. I might, I'll, I'll probably point this out later on in my late, uh, my next car review, which is another Honda. But a lot of people have been trashing Hondas. In this game, they don't. So it's weird. I, they're chicken out. I don't, it's weird. In this game, it's like the literal opposite. People don't trash Hondas. And I'll explain more of that in the next car review I do of another Honda. I'm not racing that guy. I bet he's calling me out for pinks in the real. Evo Max or Pink R. Okay. What is with the X's in the lobby? Look, uh, look at all these like, no, no, there's like TKs, TKs, OK, and an XR. Like, what is all that? Ooh, I think that was a fast time. It's a high two point and high two points. High, I mean high point two. Ooh, that's a fast ass time. A two point, an eight point two eight. That's that's good. Happy with that. I got my groove back. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's do one more, and then I'll enter back into the. 2.8 that was that's fucking that, that's pretty fast I never hit that you're uh, no 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 I'm fucking oh my god I cannot unsee that fuck maybe if I could race the Mustang 
Why are you chasing me? Nope, it's the Viper. Alright. Eight point two nine eight so max. All right, so that ends the car review. All right, so out of um, so yeah, I think I might have forgotten to explain something a little bit more back then earlier. Yeah, the two ways were turf or um, you're the rooster to obtain this car. The Yuri Rooster is going high in price and going raising in prices as we speak. And mm, let me repair this. And the turf version I have is still really high in price. It's kept its really high value. And it's very impressive that it is as it is. I don't I believe there are no clone versions, although I might be wrong about this car. Just surprised. I I haven't seen a clone version of my of the turf version S two thousand. Um, but yeah, here's the video of the rooster. I might just end it. Uh, so yeah, out of looks, I give it a ten out of ten because it looks badass with this wide body or R spec body. As you uh, want to call it, whatever. Um, in terms of like drivability, it's really easy. But I haven't been, <laughs> I haven't been playing this in a while, so I mean, I'm, I was out of shape the first like five runs with fouling it. Um, yeah, that's terms of drivability, and yeah, overall I give this car like a ten out of ten. It's still really fast, um, it's still really fast even after gut nerf. But if you have NOS in it, it kind of down, it kind of hurts the car a little bit. Although it won't hurt the car as much. But it'll still hurt it because it's NOS, and you don't want NOS on a, on a turf car, especially R, especially when it's an R class. That this thing can only hit 1678 max with NOS, which is kind of depressing. Only hit 7.2, 7.1s. So I wouldn't suggest putting NOS on this car if you do get one. If you do have one, just tune it to 1668. It's probably the easy, the easiest way to uh, to fix the problem, basically. Yeah, before they they haven't added the t extraction of NOS yet. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Ooh, also, I have another video coming up after this one. Um, it's on a different game. So, the game I've been testing out and playing with friends because uh, it was um, not a lot of people have played it, but I think it deserves the, the recognition it gets. It's a really fun, really fun, good game. 100,000, um, well, from what I'm saying, 100,000 downloads, um, and a rating of 4.8, 4 almost 4.9. That's really impressive. Um, yeah, it's called Sword Art Online Memory Defrag. I will do a video on that after, after this upload. And, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.